you can speak to both of this, but I want your opinion. <laughs> was it a penalty on Clay? In my personal opinion, no. I don't think it was a penalty. What? No, I don't think it was a penalty. In today's NFL, under the rules that have been implemented, with the emphasis being protecting the uh, quarterback, fuck. yes. <laughs> so it's for me. I just don't. I, I don't like it when there's gray area. But with this call, it's been so consistent on both sides. I don't have a problem with the ref erring on the side of throwing the penalty. Hmm. I talked to Cam Newton and Matt Ryan this past week before their game, and I asked them about this new roughing the passer penalty and the emphasis. They love it. Quarterbacks love it. They feel like we're at risk more than anyone out there on the field because our vision is down the field. Our focus is on trying to hit a moving target without throwing an interception. Meanwhile, while trying not to get sacked and our heads taken off, mm -hmm by a guy that weighs, in Matt Ryan's case, about 70 to 100 pounds more than he does. And so for them, they love it. But then on the flip side, talking to a Luke Keekley and these guys, they don't know what to do because you ask them to hit a quarterback in a certain target window mm -hmm. below, the, below the neck, below, in between the shoulders and the hip. Mm -hmm. You can't hit them low. You can't pick them up and drive them to the ground. When I look at Clay Matthews, they've asked them to not land with your entire body on top of a quarterback. He did not do that. However, what the refs are trying to convey is that we are going to call this every single time we think that there is a potential driving of the quarterback to the ground where they can be at risk of getting hurt. It's a tough one, but that's not why the Packers lost that game. Aaron, this is the Aaron Rodgers rule because Anthony Barr did the exact same thing to not. Aaron Rodgers last year outside of the pocket. Not even what close. happened? And every year we have. You're this saying thing. this one, Skip. You're saying this was worse than what no. Anthony Barr did. Anthony Barr just fell full body weight on his collarbone and shattered it. This, and, this and, is and, not and what happened. They, they said they don't want your body weight landing on the quarterback. Yeah. Well, his body weight didn't yes, land it on did. her cousin. Yes, it did. He, he, he went the sideways. Yeah. He goes sideways. Yeah. He rolls on the ground away from No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Ugh. All I'm saying is, Ugh. Skip, is that this is textbook. This is what they've called in the preseason. Not textbook. This is what they put in the emphasis on in the, uh, coming into the preseason. Mm -hmm. They've called it. In the preseason, they called it in the first two weeks of the regular season. <laughs> okay? They're going to get you out of it. They're, 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 they'll train you to, not to do it. Because guess what? When you get that, it's just like that illegal contact. That five yards and that first, that, that hurt. Mm. But like, like Greg said, this didn't cost him a game because it didn't give him eight points. Mm. First cousin still had to drive mm. him down the field. Yeah. And he did it. And you know it, Skip Bayless. You know that. It, see, your, see, your hate for first cousins mm -hmm. because he threw for 425 and four touchdowns, and you <laughs> didn't want him to do that. Am you I big? Am I an Aaron Rodgers supporter on this no. show? But so am I not, not objective about this? No, you're this? a bigger Kirk Cousins hater no, 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 than no. you are Aaron, uh, Aaron Rodgers supporter. This was the biggest robbery at Lambeau Field since the Dez catch that was a catch. What? Only this time, the home team, the Packers, got victimized by a flag that absolutely snatched victory from out from under them because Kirk Cousins, right on schedule, turned right back into Kurt Cousins. He's got a free rusher right in his face. And all Clay Matthews did was, was a textbook, nice, easy, clean tackle of the quarterback. Nice and easy? Yeah. <laughs> it was just, no, no. Did he pick him up and throw him down? No, he did not. He just took Look him it. easily to the ground. Uh, oh, please. And he doesn't even roll. His Tea body, cutting. his whole upper body is I the agree. other it way. Was, it was textbook. Yeah. It was up. textbook. No. And Kirk Cousins goes blind again, goes deer in headlights. It's first and 10 at the 25. The pressure is mounted. He's coming apart psychologically, as he always does. He always does. He's 1-6 and six against the Dallas Cowboys in big games. And he flings it as far as he can fling it to nobody. And Jair Alexander, the rookie from, for the Green Bay Packers, mm -hmm. first-round draft pick, he just goes and flags it down. And once he catches it, I said, game over. Minute 37 left. It's over. It's over. They're just going to kill the clock because, you know, Aaron Rodgers is going to make one first down, and it's going to be over. And the announcer says, 
There's a flag. There's a flag? Yep, for you saw what? It. Yep. And then I see that, and Clay Matthews is up to Tony Corrente saying, Me? I did it? The Are highly you respected Tony Corrente. Tony Corrente? He, he ref the Super Bowl too, Skip Bayless. You couldn't Bayless. see him. He, he, yes, like, he did. Clay Matthews <laughs> in between him and Kirk Cousins. That is such the wrong call because it doesn't violate even the new quote unquote yes, rule. Does. There's nothing. There's no body weight. There's no Anthony Barr. Yep. There's no helmet to helmet. There's nothing. He didn't pick him afterwards. He told the pool reporter he picked him up and threw him down. He did, he did. not pick him up and throw he him cut. down. What did even Kirk Cousins say after the game? Uh, that was a generous call, it to was. say the least. Yeah. It was generous. It was outrageous. The game is over. Kirk Cousins has turned back into Kirk Cousins, and Aaron Rodgers at home got robbed. No. So, so you're saying for Kirk Cousins, 35 for 48, 425 He did this against yards, Dallas 40. every time. Right on schedule, he put up those numbers. Go look at the Thanksgiving game two years ago and tell me. He threw for 500, so, didn't he? 452. Five, four, so, 500 so, yards, and Dak, of course, goes four for four in the red zone, and he loses again because he, he screws up. He goes one for four okay, in the red so zone. Okay, so what happens next, though? Okay, you have the, game, to, the game's you, over. You you have no the game isn't because you okay. have to continue to play. So he throws the ball to Thielen that either the safety or the corner should have picked because it just drops down the chimney and it hits Zaire, uh, Jair Alexander right in the it, it skims off his jersey. Yeah, yeah that's like, so so I guess Kirk was saying, I think I'm gonna bank this one off the corner's jersey. <laughs> no, he said, I'm uh, I'm so convinced yeah. in my talent. Yeah. And yeah. what I what I can do, and I'm feeling myself. Yeah. He was feeling himself. You know, yeah. old people say, "Well, I grew up." Oh, you smelling yourself, huh, boy? You better get up out of here. Kirk Cousins, I'm smelling myself. Let me show you how to do it, Aaron Rodgers, in your building. Well, I I don't want to hear about missed field goals. I don't want to hear about anything. All I care about is the game was over. No, it wasn't. Tony Corrente throws a flag that <laughs> snatches victory from the jaws of defeat because it's yeah. over. Skip. It's over. But here's the thing. You know, it's over. We saw the exact same thing. Uh, Alfred had an opportunity to pick Tom Brady. He didn't pick it. Edelman catches the carom. But that didn't lose him the game. That wasn't at because the, end of the game. That wasn't a game over play. If he gets an interception, it is. No, I don't know about that. Skip, there would have been no I time. Know. I don't know what time it was. Skip, that was, that was the drive to tie the game up. If he gets the interception, the game's over. New England has yeah, But that wasn't a bad call. That's just a bad bounce. But I'm just trying to say at that point in time. But how can you call that? We, Easy we, because we it's see this. We see this week in and week out. What, what we're starting to understand as viewers is these players are going to have to overcome these types of calls. Yeah, whether not on the game ending Whether play. they're yes. correct game or ending not. Game-ending play? Yes. Are you kidding? It's, it's a game-ending play if there's no penalty. But if there is a penalty, you have to play again. Yeah. overcome oh, that. Yeah. Oh. And, if, and what does the great Shannon Sharp always tell me? Green Bay's not very good on defense. Yeah, I've been trying to tell you that since 2011. So, he also told me all last week, there's no way Aaron Rodgers should play in this game. He's not that, healthy. That's what he the report said. plenty healthy That's what Adam Schefter said. Uh, he said Adam he had a bruised knee. What did Adam say? A bruised knee and, and he was he fine. No, no he didn't say he shouldn't play. play. He did not say that. No. He, he had a play. bruised knee. He got doesn't have anything old, wrong with his got ligaments. Got big old bulky knee Nothing brace on. Nothing wrong with the big ligaments. Big old bulky knee brace. That's why the team doctor last Sunday night said, you know what, go back in because you can't hurt it any worse. It's bone bruised and, he, and it's painful. And he cooked them. Yeah. And he cooked he Chicago. Cooked At the end of the day. cooking Minnesota yesterday. It's <laughs> tough. <laughs> it's, this is a tough one for the Packers to swallow because, yes, is it a controversial call? Mm. Of course. Sure. But we've seen this throughout the NFL when I look at this game and I look at what they did not do versus what they did do, the Minnesota Vikings went two for three in the red zone. The, the Green Bay Packers went one for five in the red zone. Mm-hmm. If you come away with six points on two of those drives, we're not in this situation. So If Tony Crini doesn't reach for the yellow, right. wait a second, it's 29 to 21 Green Bay. 29 to 21. Hey. It's over. No. Yes, it's not you over. know it. It's not over. They still have Somebody over here is objective. They still have to convert on the two-point conversion. Yeah. I mean, there's still game to be played regardless. It, I, it, I'm not even an Aaron Rodgers fan. I don't live in Minneapolis. You I'm not a, from Minnesota. I don't care. I don't care. It's just a robbery. My cousin, Jenny, yeah. that be on that I hitty. I mean, <laughs> Kurt, Kurt, 
Kurt, I was Kurt. Skeptical, skeptical about Cousins, mm -hmm. and I wanted to kind of side with you there, but I thought he was impressive. Mm -hmm. yeah, the magic. Yeah, boy, magic. He, 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 he threw his second interception in the no, last minute. No, he didn't. Minute. He only got one. He, did. That he threw one. an interception. Was it not deer in headlights? No. Nope. I'm going to uh, throw this nope. as far. Yeah, yep. nope. It's just me. It's, it's, I saw it every Dallas game. At the end of the game, thank you, Kurt. Look at, look at thank it. you. i tell you what. Look at First Cousins and look at check down Alex Smith. Mm -hmm. How he looked yesterday. With that same cast mm. that Alex, that I'll, are, uh, that, I'll that, take Alex Smith over Kirk I Cousins. I would not any day. ever. I will. I would day. not ever. Yeah. <laughs> because guess Kirk what? Kirk Cousins, 0 and 1 in the playoffs. Going to That's the pro, he was going to the Pro Bowl, <laughs> throwing for 4,000 with 30 touchdowns. Yeah. Let's see what old check down does. This is Kirk exactly one and six who in fits Dallas. the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, yeah. beautiful. When you look at Tom. When you look at Mike Zimmer and what he wants out of players, he wants a guy that's going to be fiery, that mm, he fiery. loves He yeah. loves competitors. He wants a guy who will throw it to the other that's team in the Kurt, last two minutes. You that's know what, what he wants. You watch. <laughs> it's no. his history. History screams do not trust Kirk Cousins. History screams mm -hmm. that your guy would throw for 100 and, uh, less than 200 again who? for the eighth time who? in 10 games. My Cowboys. Dak Prescott is throwing for less than 200. Did, how many times did We're Troy going Aikman too throw many for places. under 200? <laughs>